The James Webb Space Telescope has been operating for almost two years, and during those first 20 months of science, it has significantly changed our understanding of the cosmos. But because the telescope is exposing contradictions in our cosmological models, scientists are facing enormous dilemmas. The precise moment at which the first star clusters came together to create the first known galaxies is still unknown. Cosmologists had previously thought that this process would start to take place gradually in the first few hundred million years following the Big Bang. But the results of the James Webb Telescope are forcing them to reconsider. According to widely accepted ideas, these early proto-galaxies reached adolescence between one and two billion years into the universe's existence, formed into dwarf galaxies, and then started consuming one another to expand into larger ones that resemble our own. According to the standard model, the cosmic dark ages began one billion years after the Big Bang, when the neutral hydrogen had become ionized and had once again split apart. During this time, the universe was thought to have been shrouded in a fog of neutral hydrogen, trapping the light of the first stars and galaxies. The first stars became galaxies at the conclusion of the Dark Ages, gradually transforming the cosmos into what it is today. Nearly every one of our models said that. After the James Webb Space Telescope was launched, we unexpectedly found ourselves embroiled in a dispute that could fundamentally alter our perception of the universe. Astronomers were taken aback when Webb found thousands of exceptionally bright early galaxies, some of which even resembled our own. It was a finding that severely questioned their most fundamental theories about how the cosmos came to be. These galaxies would have had to swell to huge sizes in a fraction of the ordinary period if they were like ours and shone so brightly. A galaxy is usually brilliant because of its size. However, not enough time has elapsed since the Big Bang because these galaxies formed at cosmic dawn. How are these gigantic galaxies so luminous that they logically shouldn't exist, and how did they assemble so quickly? These galaxies are referred to by scientists as too big and too soon. Only huge galaxies with as many stars as the Milky Way should be able to produce brightness comparable to their magnitude. Despite this, these early galaxies developed in a much shorter amount of time than our own. This conundrum put scientists in a difficult position and forced them to reconsider basic cosmological ideas. A group of researchers acknowledged the limitations of human comprehension in this intricate situation and went to a supercomputer in order to conduct a thorough analysis. To understand the unusual brightness of these galaxies, the scientists created a model of galaxy formation and ran supercomputer simulations on it. The dynamic interplay of gas in the early cosmos, which coalesced and eventually transformed into stars, which in turn gave rise to galaxies, was mirrored in these simulations. The researchers revealed a potential answer by carefully weighing the mass, energy, momentum, and chemical makeup of the nascent cosmos. They postulated that stars in this early era may have experienced bursty star formation, which is the phrase for quick, powerful bursts of star creation that followed protracted periods of quiescence. This process is very different from the steady-state star birth rate observed in the modern cosmos. According to the researchers, this unique mechanism could explain the unusual brightness of the early universe. As a result, the group deduced that the bright galaxies found by the James Webb Space Telescope during the early stages of the universe could be the result of these outbursts of massive star formation, which could explain their greater luminosity than expected for that time period. In other words, when Webb started science operations in the summer of 2022, the universe had a sudden let-there-be-light moment. Its extensive views of the cosmos soon led to the discovery of high redshift galaxies. The galaxies were more brilliant than what the mainstream model of cosmology predicts for the epoch, 
In reality, they were seen as they were when the universe was less than 400 million years old. This gave rise to arguments that the conventional model, which describes how galaxies form from modest beginnings and grow through merges, powered by filaments and dark matter halos in the cosmic web, must be false. Scientists now think that a galactic system doesn't have to be that large, based on the simulation's results. Star formation will produce light bursts if it occurs in bursts. We witness multiple extremely bright galaxies as a result. Above all, the outcomes of the new simulations match the mainstream model of cosmology's hierarchical growth model of galaxies. However, the ordinary model's issues don't stop here. Significant model errors are being revealed by the James Webb Telescope. First up, very early galaxies. Remember that we are discussing the cosmic time scale. It appears as though a galaxy formed instantly when it does so within a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The model states that galaxies did not form during the first billion years after the Big Bang, which occurred about 13.8 billion years ago. The James Webb Space Telescope, however, has disproved that notion. At the edge of the universe, we have discovered huge, completely formed galaxies. Macy's Galaxy is the oldest galaxy we have discovered with a telescope thus far. It existed when the universe, which is 13.8 billion years old, was just 390 million years old, which is extremely young for our cosmic vastness. Not to add that Macy's Galaxy is just one of the numerous candidates that Webb has observed. Further study and observation may uncover galaxies that predate that as well. Second, two huge objects that collided quite early in the universe have recently been found by scientists. Yes, the James Webb Telescope confronts cosmologists once more, just when they believed they had a plausible hypothesis explaining the timing and mechanism of galaxy collisions in the early universe. The challenger in this instance is the collision of two giant galaxy clusters that have joined forces to form an enormous galactic cluster. They occurred too early in the cosmic model, at a time when the universe was half its age. The collision produced the El Gordo Galaxy Cluster, which contradicts the Big Bang theory, which holds that galaxies emerge initially in the cosmos and then eventually start to merge to form larger galaxies and clusters of galaxies in a way that has never been seen before. If takes time, which is why it's problematic if they appear so quickly, like El Gordo did in cosmic history. Whether this big early collision indicates the need for a new model or modifications to the current one is one question that will need to be addressed. Third, massive black holes close to the universe's formation. Young galaxies are merely red dots in the night but the James Webb Space Telescope observed that a startling proportion of them had cyclones churning in their centers. Yes, there are a ton of sources that scientists were either unaware of or completely unprepared to find. The most direct explanation for the galaxies that resemble tornadoes is that massive black holes with masses equivalent to millions of suns are causing the gas clouds to explode. These are the progenitors of supermassive black holes that occur abnormally early in the cosmic record. Through the study of these record-breaking young objects that Webb found this year, scientists expect to determine the origin of the first massive black holes, and maybe find out if they grow really quickly or if they were just naturally large. However, the observations are equally puzzling, because Webb was supposed to discover a large number of smaller but hungry black holes. Instead, they discovered a massive population of massive black holes that have the potential to completely alter our understanding of how galaxies and stars emerge. Fourth, absence of heavy ingredients. The Webb Telescope not only detected extraordinarily huge early galaxies, but also learned that those galaxies defy expectations. 
Using the JWST, a group of astronomers looked back over 12 billion years to see galaxies and the laws that have guided them throughout cosmic history. The most unexpected finding was that, compared to what is known from later forming galaxies, older galaxies created much fewer heavy elements. Because earlier equipment were not powerful enough to see the chemical makeup of galaxies as far back as about 11 billion years ago, this discrepancy had gone unnoticed. However, this team was able to go back only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, thanks to the James Webb Telescope, which revealed a break in the mass-to-chemistry ratio of star formation. Now that the James Webb Space Telescope is anticipated to operate for a decade or two, who knows what minute details it will uncover about the universe's beginning that will contribute to the resolution of many unanswered problems.